morning. This is Nita and Miss Panda with the Timepiece Garden, and we are in Garden 3. Yay! All right, so I had a great time with friends yesterday. Panda says to tell her friends Tosha and Nikita and Rebel, you know, peace out, ladies. Had an awesome time. Um, and we're ready to work today. She's already, you know, cleared the area. There's no rabid squirrels here that are going to attack me. I'm safe. Um, what are we going to do? Everything. Hey, besides fall. <laughs> so, yeah, I went to the store, picked up the um, rest of the, the spikes, the staples for the, um, the gra woven ground fabric. So I can go ahead and finish getting this one tacked down. Uh, get the paper laid where the... This flower bed is going to be here. Go ahead and get that fabric tacked down. Basically finish this area the way it's supposed to be. Does that make sense? And um, bring over the... I have some wood stuff like this that I'm going to line this bed with. And actually start the next bed as well. Um, I think I have enough wood to do all of that, which is awesome. Um, but those are the goals for today. I'm supposed to have a high of 85, so I will probably be out here all day. Um, having said that, um, one of the things that I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to bring my hose. It's already down here, but I'm going to line the hose up so it fits about where the my water runoff comes down, and I'm going to let it fill the swell. Um, a couple of days from now, we're supposed to have some rain, which will refill my 500 gallons. It's full right now, um, so that'll also let me... There's a lizard. <laughs> that, but that will also let me see how many gallons it actually takes to fill the swell. If I do it off the rain barrel, I could just tell by how much it goes down. If I started with 500 and I end up with 300, then I know this is going to hold 200 gallons. I don't think it's going to hold that much. Truly, it's not that deep. Um, but we're going to see. We're going to find all that out today. Hey, apparently I'll pass along. She's like, Mom. All right, so that's what we're going to do. Um, swell's quite dry. You can see it. It's dry. Might not be dry later. But we'll figure it out. All right, talk to me in a few. All right, woven fabrics down. Um, this aisle is not yet, but the, that is all down and tacked in. Uh, paper, this side is tacked in. I'll finish that side in just a second. Um, but while I've been tacking all that in and you know burning it so it fit correctly around the whew, around the the noisemaker for the rodents and the, the bed there, does that make sense? I've been letting the water run so I could uh check and see how it's doing and you can see I got I got water all the way down at this end not a lot but I have water at this end um, I have a large puddle at this side Whew. you know say so not as much as that side I think I've got a hump somewhere when I was cleaning out the dirt on the inside that I didn't clean out correctly. So I will continue to let it fill. You know, I'm going to go over there and finish that section. And, um, and if I have to, I'll go get the shovel and start figuring out why I think it's right about there after, after that piece of wood. Does that make sense? I think that's where the hump is. And I say that because, I mean, there's obviously a lot of water here. But you get up, there's water there, there's water there. You get right about here. There's not a lot. There's just a little bit of puddle. And then it dips down into there. So I think I, think I got a high mound here. You know, which is what I needed to know. That's why it was like, yep, I'm, I'm running the five-gallon bucket. Or five-gallon. My 50, my 500-gallon water catchment. So I can, feel, I can figure it out. I can see if I've got a an area that's not letting the water go. So I'm going to go over there and finish that. Finish that bed probably start um, tacking down the edge that's against the growing bed. That makes sense. I'll start tacking that stuff down. Um, that way it's not going to blow away if we get a windstorm. Um, and then I'll go get the shovel and I'll come spend a little bit of time on this. And then I'll go back to working on the garden stuff. All right. Talk to you in a few. All right. Grab the shovel. Yeah, took a couple shovelfuls out of that spot right there where it was raised up, and it was raised up a little. I don't know if part of the 
There's my finger there. It is if part of the hill there had collapsed. Don't know. Um, but anyway, move the move the move the dirt, and um, had a whole bunch of water run. You know, once we did that, because it kind of leveled out, and it's you can see now where the the grass pieces and you know floater stuff is just kind of floating left to right. You know, down there it's just kind of sitting there. Not moving left to right. Kind of over here it's a little spinny. Um, and it does that, say when you have a stream that runs into a dam, when it gets as far as it can go left or right, does that make sense? It comes back, and you can see where that's kind of spinning right there. It's because it's moving on itself, because I still have water dripping in. And it's running this way now like it's supposed to. And it'll run, it'll kind of bounce up against the end there and then come back. And that's what raises that level. So this side is good now. Still going, it's not all the way full yet. So I will still go for a little while because the ultimate goal here, as you can see where it's just starting to come over here and that's fine because this is where it's supposed to run out. And I need to put that much water in here today. I need to make sure that it runs out this side. Does that make sense? And goes back to where it is always gone. That piece of log down there, that's where the water used to go out. Um, everything else runs that way. I need the water to leave here and want to go that way. Um, the, uh, and not run out that side. Does that make sense? I need to keep the erosion going this direction. You know, water wants to do what it wants to do. I want it to do what it wants to do too. Go that way when I'm done with it. All right, Panda, get out of there. I know, all the lizards are under there. I know. All right, I haven't said that. I'm going to continue to let that do that. I'm going to go ahead and tack down the next aisle. And you can see Panda's bottom half. She's wet. She's come over here into this puddle here. And the puddle down there, once I got it, you know, dug out so it was level. Yeah, she's laid down in both of them. She's like, yeah, Mom, this is cool. It's another panda pool. So when we are done, we will hit the real panda pool and wash all the mud off. All right, um, other little side thoughts. Water's dirty, it's muddy from where I was digging it up. When the water settles, the mud that's in here that's floating in the water should settle in the deepest portions of the pools. Again, that'll help level out, you know, low spots versus high spots. All right, I'm gonna get busy. Just one of those show and tell thingies, so it'll be really quick. Um, I miss Panda Bear. I know it's supervisor approved. You know, she's doing her job. She's like, "Good job, mom. You're laying a fair break. Good job." All right, so you can see that this is my burnt edge. It makes sense. You can see green stripe. Whether the wind blows or whatever, it's it's a rough edge. What you see over here is I fold it and tuck it in, and then staple it down. Um, that way this doesn't fray over time and unravel the entire thing because it's all tucked in and under itself. Having said that, this over here is going to be the next bed, garden bed. So I've got the paper folded, tacked down. Does that make sense? That way when I'm ready to start building this bed, I can just tuck the next sheets of paper right under these sheets of paper and paper it in, you know, and do the same thing. Let the grass rot, let the earthworms eat the grass, let the earthworms eat the paper, let the earthworms poop, and just continue to enrich the flower bed. So, I'm halfway done. That side's all tacked down. This side is not. Again, you can kind of see how rough it is in some spots, you know. Panda is helping remove my black plastic so I can start planting green beans in there. You know, she's letting me know I'm late and I need to get on it. I get the plastic in, and then I can get the hoses run. You know, I get the beds built, just insanely. So anyway, just to be quick, let me go ahead and finish rolling my edges in, tack it down, and Miss Penn and I'll talk to you in a minute. All right, plastic is all down, edges are all folded in and tacked down, paper is all down. Again, not in the back corner, because I'm not going to do that until I'm physically ready to start moving the sunflowers that, that volunteered over there. Um, I won't lie, I'm done for the day. Not for the day, but I'm done for the afternoon. I need to go in and make some lunch and, and relax uh, during the hottest part of the day today. Um, it's not exceptionally hot, but it is time for me to take a break. Um, 
Again, you can see the sunflowers, tallest things back here. Um, you can see where the door is, and anything to the right of the door has got to be moved to the left where the bed will be. Um, but again, I'll have the soil ready and the stuff here to make the bed. So I make the bed, move the plants, and then put the woven fabric there at the door. All right. Having said that, isn't that broccoli awesome? Sorry, squirrel moment. I'm pretty sure I'm going to harvest him tonight. I don't think he's going to get better without going to flower. And I want to get him at the, you know, peak, peak ripeness. I think, I think we got it today. Um, whew, all right. Yes, I'm still doing water. And I'm, I'm, how do I say this? I'm close enough. I'm going to go ahead and shut the water off. Um, I'm going in the house. I'm going to shut it off. I don't need to watch it anymore. Um, this is the right side. This is where it will drain out. Does that make sense? And if you look, it's, it's, zoom in. You can see where the water there is probably about two inches from the top. Does that make sense? Um, this is the far side. Again, this is where it comes down. Um, this is the far side. You can tell there is water end to end. And you've still got, especially the way the dirt is mounted there. Does that make sense? If you go even up two inches higher, you know, you may hit where those two rocks are. You know, you're not going to go over the mound. Which again, that way this can all fill with water. And it'll drain that way as it always has. You know, go out that way. But this slows it and gives it a deep... Again, you can see how how moist the soil is right there because it's just sitting here soaking it up. And that's what I want it to do every time it rains. You know, that's what the swell is for, is to, to not, not, not pond it. I'm not trying to put fish here, but slow it down so it waters the hill all the way down. All right, so I am going to... We're done. I'm going to go up. I'm going to turn it off, and I'll do a video to see how much this is roughly 24 feet long does that make sense it's about a foot ish wide in some places it's a little more um, below ground level it's about a foot deep on the, the the hill mile inside because I mound it back over there it's closer to two feet deep um, yeah so but I'm gonna go measure see how much water I let out of my 500 gallon container because that'll tell me how much water fills in here as it as it actually fills the you know as it filters down the waters too all right talk to you in a few all right up here at the water water catchment tank Whew. it was full you know um every drill hole here is 100 gallons it was full it was 500 gallons it was you know it's not now. There's maybe, that's 100, and that's 200. There's about 150 gallons left. So, what, that trench held 350 gallons of water as it was letting it soak into water down the hill. Does that make sense? Um, and it's not full. And the awesome part about that is that every time it rains, it'll collect in that swell and it will water down the hill and it will actually make the watering that I have to do less. Do you understand how that happens? Because it soaks down, but because it's a slope, it slopes down and then, there you go, it'll slope down and then it'll go that way as it, as it sinks in. So it will water the plants from underneath the roots, uh, make the roots want to go deeper. That's the goal. It's a good job, you know? 350 gallons. And then the crazy thing is I've still not made it in the house yet. I'm putting tools away, you know. Job's not done until the tools are put away. I got cloud cover. No, we weren't supposed to get any rain today. And I still have blue patches. But the stuff over towards town is a little dark. So anyway, I'm still gonna go in the house. I'm gonna take a break. I'm hot, I'm hot. Um, goal is to come back at 5, 6 o'clock and, um, you know, work on making beds type stuff or the, the walls to the beds um, along that line. You know, just continue to work in there until I get it done. Um, whew, if it starts raining, I won't be doing that. Um, anyway, we'll figure it out. 350 gallons.